Like many other Tunisians, Mohamed Bouazizi was furious with President Ben Ali's 23-year reign. In December 2010, Bouazizi set himself on fire in front of a government building and sparked a revolution, inspiring mass protests which forced President Ben Ali to dismiss his cabinet and flee to Saudi Arabia. On Tuesday, January 25th, Egyptians inspired by the events in Tunisia took to the streets in a rare political protest. Police responded with tear gas and water cannons, attempting to prevent protesters from nearing the parliament building and prevent others from joining the main protest. But the crowd, armed with sticks and stones, overwhelmed the police, forcing the officers to retreat. The next day, in nearby Yemen, tens of thousands, inspired by the events in Tunisia and Egypt, took to the streets of the capital Sana'a, calling for President Abdullah Saleh to step down from his 30-year rule. In Tunisia, Yemen, Jordan, and Egypt, decades-old tyrannies are at their knees, and the credit goes not to the heavy hand of outside nations or the inside work of politicians. The credit goes to a few disgruntled citizens online organizing and a relatively small total number of protesters. People who couldn't sit back and continue to let injustice reign. Hi 2012, thank you. My name is Sprite and this is Ketchup. We're from the future and we just wanted to say a big, big thank you for getting everything just right. Everything is perfect here. Everyone has clean water, free food, free sustainable energy, internet access. Humans and animals are all friends again. And humans are all friends again. 2012 was the year you really turned things around. You saved yourself some corporate tyranny. That's not your future. You're going to totally screw it up. <laughs> Take a look. perfect future. <laughs> so thanks again so, so much for getting everything just right. Kisses. Frankie, 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 it's, it's, here, here, it's here, it's here. The word of the day has arrived. Open it, open it. What does it say? I just oh, can't I just wait, can't for wait the word to learn and play. I just can't wait to learn and play. Drum roll, please. A is for apocalypse. 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 A is for apocalypse. A is for apocalypse. A is for apocalypse. A is for apocalypse. A is for. And good night to all corrupt human schemes. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. The letter of the day is A. There are many things about A to say, but no one cares enough anyway. Here are a few A words I want to say. Arctic, Antifa, Abortion, Aliens, Autonomy, Anonymity, Anemone, Amendment 19, Authenticity, anti-corruption policies, but today, A is for apocalypse, 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 A, A, A is for apocalypse, 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 A, A, A is for apocalypse, and that means everyone will die. Surely.
money. Somebody must have said something to someone. Yeah, and somebody did. A lot of people did. Um, a scientist named James Hansen from NASA in 1988 testified in front of Congress about the effects of global warming and that it was probably human caused. Um, but the impact of that was that the fossil fuel industry, who was more worried about profit than the planet, put more time and money into further misleading the American public and covering the whole thing up. 